Okay, today we're going to look at transformers and the AC circuits challenge. Uh, we're going to look at the transformer module. Before I uh, click into that, uh, this little interactive piece here uh, is from the transformer module. And uh, this is a quick educational piece about the relationship of primary windings to secondary windings. So <clears throat> what a transformer is, is a very simple um, in, induction tool. Uh, works with alternating current. Um, we have two coils of wire, uh, both wrap, wrapped around an iron core, um, and using the uh, electromagnetic lines of flux in Faraday's law, uh, we're able to take um, a magnetic field from the primary coil and induce current and voltage on a secondary coil just using that, that field. And so what we'll see is a relationship between the number of windings uh, in that primary uh, as compared to the number of windings in the secondary. So here we have a one-to-one -one relationship. We have eight volts uh, AC on our primary winding uh, with four turns on that and uh, at 80 milliamps. And we're going to see uh, a one-to-one -one relationship. That means our secondary winding is also going to see eight volts AC at um, an 80 milliamp output. Now, let's say we cut our secondary windings in half and we go to two windings on that. When we're cutting that in half, we cut our voltage in half. We'll have a direct relationship um, between windings and voltage. Um, but notice our current. Our current has doubled. So uh, we have an indirect relationship where that when we half our windings, we will double uh, the current here. And you see the same thing when we uh, quarter this. If we take our secondary winding down, um, we've stepped our voltage down by a factor of four and we have increased our current by a factor of four uh, in that relationship. Now the power relationship, uh, if you were to multiply your current times your voltage, you got your power in, in watts, um, or in this case milliwatts, and um, you will notice that the power is approximately uh, the exact same. So there's a direct relationship um, with power in our transformer. Now let's take a look at the uh, transformer module. Go ahead and click on this and open that. Okay, so here's that overview explained about a transformer and the relationships that uh, we just demonstrated. And down here you see the uh, mathematical uh, relationship explained, our uh, voltage versus the number of turns. And so here you see that direct relationship. Voltage on the secondary uh, is equal to the number of windings on the secondary as a ratio with uh, the voltage on the primary and the number of windings on the, the primary. Um, we see that inverse relationship with current, um, where we have the, the current on the primary related to the, the current on the, si the secondary is equal to the uh, number of secondary windings to the uh, number of primary windings, and you have an inverse relationship uh, uh, this way. Um, if you know any, any three of these quantities, you should be able to figure out uh, the fourth one by simply plugging in, cross-multiplying. Um, and doing the appropriate math, um, it may mean within this module here, uh, you're going to have to use some Ohm's law to figure out either uh, the current, or figure out the voltage, um, and then plug that in. Uh, but you should be able to uh, solve your problem uh, by simply just simply applying these um, equations here. Look through the examples, uh, very good examples that work through um, what you're looking at. And I'll just take example one, number one here. We have a primary winding that has 60 turns on it. We have a voltage on our primary winding of 15 volts. Um, and we have a voltage on our secondary winding of 120 volts. So uh, this is what's called a step up, um, a step up transformer where we go from a primary of 15 and we're increasing it um, to 120. Um, so we know we're going to see an increase in the number of turns here. Um, there is a load resistance on our secondary of 30 ohms, and uh, we're asked to calculate the secondary turns, the primary current, and the secondary current. Um, and so here they plug in the equations um, and just simply uh, substitute those known quantities into these equations. Um, do your, your cross multiplying. Um, 120 times 60 uh, is equal to 15 divided by the uh, number of secondary windings. Um, work the math out, and uh, you see that there are 480 turns in here. Now, using a little bit of uh, Ohm's law, we know that our load was 
30 ohms. So we take the 120 volts that we knew there divided by our 30 ohms. We see that we have a uh, current on our secondary side of, of 4 amps. And you can plug that um, into our equation here. Um, and so you see they do that here. They take the 4 amps, plug it into the secondary side. Uh, they take the number of windings. We calculated 480 to our 60. And uh, simply do your math here, your cross multiplication. Um, and you end up getting a secondary, or I'm sorry, a primary uh, current of 32 amps. Um, work through uh, the second example too. Make sure you understand what's going on before you advance into uh, the lab itself, but that's where I'm going to go uh, now. Okay, so here is the first problem of eight, and they're all going to look very similar to this. Uh, they're going to give you uh, some of the values, but not all of them. Basically, what you have is an AC power supply here, um, and when we lift the cover off of this, we see the transformer um, connected to a load, and in this case, our load is, is uh, 20 ohms. This is the secondary side of it. And our uh, primary side uh, of this um, here is uh, here, and this this is our schematic. So our AT source, our AC source, uh, coming into the primary side. Um, here is your transformer symbol. This is the secondary side, and there is a secondary load. Um, so taking a look at what's going on here, and let's kind of plug it in, see what we can figure out um, as we solve this problem. We know that we don't know the number of turns on our primary, but we do know the secondary number of turns. We know the primary voltage and we know the secondary voltage. So we can begin moving forward with that direct relationship. Um, if you think primary turns to secondary, so X over 180 equals, and then we take uh, 240 over 60. Let's do a little cross multiplication, uh, 240 times 180. So we do that here. And um, that equals 4,320. Let me divide that by 60 to get our primary voltage. Divide that by 60. Okay, and so we have a primary voltage. I'm sorry, we have a primary number of turns of 720. So uh, that should correspond with a step-down relationship. And we do see that we are stepping down when we're going uh, primary voltage to secondary voltage and it's decreasing. It's in a step-down relationship. Now, let's uh, solve for our current over uh, here using a little bit of Ohm's Law. Uh, we know the number of volts on our secondary, and we know the load on our secondary. So using Ohm's Law, I can take my 60 volts. I can divide that by uh, my 20 ohms. Uh, that gives me a 3-amp current. So my secondary current is 3 amps. Okay, And now what's left is figuring out this primary current. The primary current is an indirect relationship. So with this relationship, we are uh, looking at an indirect relationship here. As uh, we move forward, let's take our number of turns, 720 on the primary to our 180 on the secondary and make that inversely related to our current. So that's gonna be uh, with a relationship of three over X. So our secondary amps to our primary amps. Uh, do a little cross multiplication there. Um, that's going to be uh, 3 um, times our 180. And uh, that's 540. You're going to divide that by 720. And uh, that should be giving us, yeah, about 3 quarters, Okay, which does make sense because this is a factor of 4 in our transformer here. Um, and so if we are stepping down voltage by a factor of four, we're going to step current up by a factor of four. So 0.75 would be our uh, amps for our primary. So our primary current uh, steps up um, by a factor of four to be three. Uh, you can just verify that, multiply here um, by four, and we should get three, which we do. Um, and you see the same thing, our voltage, our primary voltage steps down by a factor of four. If you take 240 and divide that by uh, four, just to check your answers here, um, you're going to see that there's 60. So uh, for this particular problem, that should be correct. Let's grade it and find out. Hey, we're correct there, we're correct, we're correct. 
awesome. We're ready to move on and uh, and do our next problem. So I'm going to allow you guys to work the next problem, but that's the, the basics here. It's a little bit of plug and play into the equations. Uh, just a quick tip, feel free to copy those equations down as you work through this. You'll get the hang of it. It's very simple um, working with uh, relationships, good uh, ratio relationships. Good luck.